Hello everyone, welcome back to another Read Aloud. As you know, today we will be reading Frog and Toad Are Friends. And the problem in this story is that it is springtime and Mr. Toad here does not want to wake up. So let's go ahead and get started to see if Mr. Frog here is able to get him up. Frog and Toad Are Friends, Story and Pictures by Arnold Lobo. Here we have the table of contents. We will be reading the first chapter and this chapter is called Spring and it is on page four. Spring. Frog ran up the path to Toad's house. He knocked on the front door. There was no answer. Toad, Toad, shouted Frog, wake up, it is spring. Blah, said a voice from inside the house. Toad, Toad, cried Frog, the sun is shining, the snow is melting, wake up. I am not here, said the voice. Notice how I changed my voice because Toad is a little bit grumpy. He does not want to wake up. Page six. Frog walked into the house. It was dark. All the shutters were closed. Toad, where are you? called Frog. Go away, said the voice from a corner of the room. Toad was lying in bed. He had pulled all the covers over his head. Frog pushed Toad out of bed. He pushed him out of the house and onto the front porch. Toad blinked in the bright sun. Help, said Toad. I cannot see anything. Don't be silly, said Frog. What you see is the clear, warm light of April, and it means that we can begin a whole new year together, Toad. Think of it, said Frog. We will skip through the meadows and run through the woods and swim in the river. In the evenings, we will sit right here on this front porch and count the stars. You can count them, Frog, said Toad. I will be too tired. I am going back to bed. Toad went into the house. He got into the bed and pulled the covers over his head again. But Toad, cried Frog, you will miss all this fun. Listen, Frog, said Toad, how long have I been asleep? You have been asleep since November, said Frog. Well then, said Toad, a little more sleep will not hurt me. Come back again and wake me at about half past May. Good night, Frog. So he still wants to keep sleeping. But Toad, said Frog, I will be lonely until then. Toad did not answer. He had fallen asleep. Frog looked at Toad's calendar. The November page was still on top. Frog tore off the November page. He tore off the December page and the January page, the February page, and the March page. He came to the April page. Frog tore off the April page too. So then Frog ran back to Toad's bed. Toad, Toad, wake up. It is May now. What? said Toad. Can it be May so soon? Yes, said Frog, look at your calendar. Toad looked at the calendar. The May page was on top. Why, it is May, said Toad, as he climbed out of bed. Then he and Frog ran outside to see how the world was looking in the spring. But we know that it was really not May because we know that Frog ripped off the November page, he ripped off the December page, he ripped off the January page, the February page, the March and the April page to trick Toad into thinking that it was May. So now Toad is awake. And that was the end of Frog and Toad Are Friends, Chapter 1, Spring. Thank you for listening. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.